Hi, I'm Jairo Belandio with Cisco Tag HR Team. This video discusses how to create a L2VPN connection point-to-point -point switch local. L2VPN point-to-point -point switch local extends layer 2 Ethernet connectivity over layer 3 network, making distance Ethernet network act like a local network. Key components include L2VPN operates on layer 2 extending Ethernet frames across the network, point-to-point -point connect to a specific endpoints directly, and switch local refers to a local switching of Ethernet frames with the device without remote switching. Benefits Enhance security, traffic stays within the VPN, avoiding public internet and external threats. Cost efficiency, typically cheaper than MPLS due to lower complicity. Improved performance, dedicated connections provide lower latency and higher bandwidth. The basic topology is a local cross-connect between two main interfaces. We are using an attached circuit to connect Router 2 with Router 1 and Router 3. An attached circuit is the connection between customer edge device and provider edge device in L2VPN. It can be physical interface or logical interface. Router 2 forwards traffic between 10 gigabit 003 and 10 gigabit 0010. Despite Router 1 and Router 3 seems directly connected, Router handles traffic transaction and can apply features like access lists or rate limiting policies on these interfaces. A basic point to point. CrossConnect is configured between two main interfaces that are configured as Layer 2 transport on Router 2. In this case, interface 10 gigabit 003 and 10 gigabit 0010. I'm now setting up L2VPN on Router 2 with an NS Connect group, configuring a point to point connection and associating the relevant interfaces. On Router 1 and Router 3, the main interfaces are configured with CDP and IPv4 address. We can see the pin from Router 1 to Router 3 is working fine. Router 1 sees Router 3 as CDP neighbor and can ping the interface of Router 3, as if these two routers were directly connected. After 10,000 pins from Router 1 to Router 3, you can use the show interface and show L2VPN commands on Router 2 in order to ensure that pins requests received by Router 2 on one attachment circuit are forwarded on the other attachment circuit. And that pin replies are handled the same way in reverse. We can see that the attachment circuit and S-Connect groups are active and up, along with statistics for packets received and sent. In conclusion, on iOS XR devices, configuring L2VPN point-to-point with Swiss Local allows for efficient Layer 2 connectivity over Layer 2 network. This setup uses main interfaces and provides secure codes, efficiency, and high-performance connections, enabling seamless Ethernet frame transmission between separate networks. Thanks for watching.